Hey there, thank you for joining me. Time to do some trucking again. At the end of the previous episode, we picked up a prisoner. Uh, to make a very long story short, we ended up in a house that was reminiscent of one of those Quentin Tarantino movies. Yeah, we made it out alive, and we have a prisoner with us. Uh, his stats are not really that impressive, so we're gonna kinda level him up as a farmer, and then drop him off in a little town that we now own. Let me show you on the map. This is a little town that we own. And we have one firm farmer working there, and uh, we're going to drop that uh, prisoner off there as well. But first, we want to make our way all the way over here, because we have three days left, as you can see, to turn that quest in. We, I think we're dropping off some bicycles there, or some paint. We're here, right now. Let's see if we can pick something up on the way. They produce wheat, sugarcane, and tires. Uh, we have to go through this zone either way. Um, they don't need anything, and they don't need anything, so... I will go over here, because I do want to go to a library. I was actually checking out some crafting stuff. There's some uh, very interesting items that we can craft. For example, knee pads, and... I'm kind of waiting for the bulletproof vest, so I have to learn that, but we need to be in a library to do that. So that's what we're going to do as well. We have enough water, we have enough ammo, we have enough food, we have enough tires, so let's get the show on the road. One of our, one of our persons is kind of tired, but the philosopher is driving. Well, his name's Emperor, but uh, I think he's a philosopher with, with a shotgun. It's very interesting. Okay. We'll go there. Um, not sure if I should actually go around here, because it's a lot of swamp. Yeah, let's go around. And then there. Alright. No weather forecast. We're almost there. Wheat stock. Blah blah blah. As soon as you enter the village, you are stopped by a kindly old woman. Hello, dearies. Uh, we, we don't have any time for this. Okay, we level up. So I kind of want to focus on... Uh, I want to actually want to focus on focus, I was going to say. That sounds kind of stupid. But let's upgrade. It will improve our shooting, because we really want to do a lot of shooting and hunting in this game. Is there a library here? No. You can actually see that on the map, is our library here? Nope, so there's no point for us to go there at all. Anything interesting in the store that we can pick up? Uh, Tyus is always welcome. Let's buy... Let's buy 10. Wheat tires, sugarcane. We don't have anything on us that we can sell here, so... We're doing fine, we might as well leave. Yeah, we're fine. Alright. So, while we're on the road, I can actually give a quick update here about the crew stats that I looked at. Previous episode I spoke about, I wasn't really sure how these stats are determined. Sometimes they're added, sometimes they seem to be an average. And uh, I did look into it. Actually, the question mark gives the answer. So attack, for example, is the is the sum of all crew members that are in the cabin right now. Uh, some are, for example, the average. So speech is an average, hunting is an average, fishing is an average. Foraging is actually added up by all the members. This is kind of surprising. But intellect, for example, is the highest stat of the, of the crew members, so I believe our philosopher has 27. Uh, overheated. Let's cool this a little bit. Alright. Should I... Because we have to be careful, because the moment you get in the swamp, it's, uh, it can be tricky to camp there. Yeah. Let's do some camping. Let's, uh, sleep. And there we go again. You find an old tank. It's covered in rust and no longer looks operational, but it seems like somebody is using it as a camp. Approach them. Mmm. I'll do it. The dustlands are infested with roving gangs of bandits. Uh, these bandits are usually strong. How much cloud do I have? Okay. 
we're gonna we're gonna go around this. I have two guys with a gun, but it's just too risky. We're slightly overloaded. Oh. Um, we're really starting to dislike prisoner. You, you can make that grudge official? No. <laughs> we have to drop this guy off as soon as possible. Um, where are we at? Um, yeah, I'm not sure how, how this works. I think you can only... Well, you can drop him as a crew member, I think, actually. Remove. I don't know what that means. Let's see. Removes a character from your truck if you're not in a city when they get out. Things might not end well for them. Yeah, that's... We don't care. I mean, this is not good. Yeah, prisoner has horrible numbers. A gas station. Great. Well, that's 0% right now. Infection 7. Let's do 3 hours. Is that snow? You don't find anything useful. Whoa. Um, I wanted to look at something else here, because I did see the interesting clothing. The bulletproof vest. Hatware is also something interesting here. Uh, I need to learn this, for example. The helmet provides a lot of defense. It depends on what you want to do, so you have several different items. But yeah, I thought it was something that I could craft for driving. Okay, now, let me see here. Clothing, hatware, projectile, weather, terrain. We want to get the, the one that is for the forest. So we have, need a lot of foil and compound. You can, we can make the hull stronger, but I, I don't care about that right now. Driving. Combat. I think combat was one where we could actually craft something. So what I want to do here is I want to do the cannon rack. That gives the crew accuracy plus 10%. And then later you can actually use that to as an ingredient into front cannon, where trucker number one can fire twice. So that actually improves your accuracy and, and then allows you to shoot twice. So you have to craft two cannon racks for that, but... It doesn't look like it needs a lot of materials. So when we're going to Natana, we'll look uh, further at this. Oh, yeah. We drive a little bit faster than normal. Well, even though we're overloaded. Because uh, I, I think we picked up a trade here. He's an axe racer now. And a little bit of aloof, which already leads to problems. <laughs> well, as long as he gets along with... Uh... Oh boy. As long as he gets along with Emperor, and they don't get along right now. Alright, so we dropped off that paint. Got a little bit of cloud back. A whole bunch of pop-ups. Road Builder. What, what is that? Coming soon. Okay. So there's really nothing we can do here. Okay. So it's a road builder. This part of the map has... Yeah, okay. Now we have a couple of tasks still. Tyrannus, Crew Town, and Oasis City. I can quickly see that. What is this here? Oh, that is the, one of the main quests. So this is Civitas, and then this is Oasis City. Is this Crew Town? Okay, let's go to Tyrannus again. I might go here. Should we do the question mark? Yeah, let's do the question mark. Uh, fuel is kind of... We come across... Um... Yeah, let's do it. They have a shop. I cannot do any trading. Crew virtue has to be higher than 10. I think we have 10, don't we? 
Yeah, we have done. Let's go. We do have to uh, stop our camp soon. Get some sleep. So stress is getting higher, so we're going to eat some stress relievers. Not sure how much this really helps. Stress is 202. Let's see how much this helps. Oh, it's 30. Okay. So this is... Because these numbers are not always... Depends on their uh, ratios, I think. And their numbers here. Oh, that is fine. That's fine. Back to 150. Alright. Now we can do a little cooking. Uh, 6%. Yeah, let's, let's just do this. Can I cook vegetables? Is there anything I can do with this? Grow vegetables. Okay, we have a 6%. So that wasn't too exciting. Uh, pheasant. And do we have salt? Uh, we don't have salt. This is a lot of pheasant, though. Might lead to a, an attack, I was about to say. You attack. We'll fight this. Alright. Accuracy is 29%. Hmm. Okay, let, let him come closer. Thank God they're not really strong. Taking a use volume. Ah, really? Okay. They were not going to destroy our truck, but you have to be careful because one of your crew members might get infected or wounded. So that is not really, uh, not really a lot of fun. How are we doing? Thirst is high. Okay, we can uh, we can go. After that one, we'll probably go there. Does anybody here sell fuel? This looks like a town. Oh, that one's self fuel. You find a lone robot walking through the wilderness. His movements are jerky and uneven, like a newborn giraffe. He's equipped with an assortment of light and heavy weapons, but all of them seem rusted through. That's a robot with weapons. Let's greet him. You come up behind the robot and give him a tap on the shoulder. The robot's head spins around independently of his body and his eyes begin to glow. You think he might be getting ready to attack. <laughs> uh, wait and see what happens. But doesn't attack you, okay? Please identify the robot speaks in a harsh mechanical voice, like a broken radio with a two-pack-a-day habit. <laughs> uh, we're humans. Hey, a whole bunch of set of coordinates appears. Designated safe zone. So it looks like he has some some safe area for us. Does it lead to request? Tap him on the shoulder. Should we check out this quarantine center? Okay, that's a side mission. Well, either way, I noticed that this one is selling fuel. And is this the side quest here? You've learned about a pre-fall quarantine center. Well, let's go there. We're doing fine with regards to fatigue and stuff, so... Oh yeah, now they... I have to turn that off, because they can automatically eat grilled game and grilled... What is it? Grilled vegetables. No, we don't want to make that garage official. We're almost there. Cactus patch. Take a detour. It sounds very creepy. So he's tired, but that that is okay. We don't need him really. 
Why does it keep flashing the task? Let's go. You arrive at the quarantine center that the robot described, a massive fortress-like structure with a strange contraption on its door. <laughs> Try to enter. The strange contraption scans you. After a few seconds, the door opens. You aren't exactly sure what I was scanning for, but it looks like you passed. While exploring the quarantine center, you find a massive room filled with countless rows of strange pot-like devices. Laying inside the pots are human beings of all shapes and sizes. On the wall of the room, you see a bulletin of some sort. Through much of the text has faded and become illegible. You also know the door in the back labeled control room. It's like we end up in another movie here. Examine the pods. The people in the pods have been hooked up to a network of tubes. They look serene. <laughs> Examine the bulletin. Uh, yeah, we gotta read that. Enter the control room. Crew gain 100 experience. You enter a room with a large monitor, below which sits a keyboard and microphone. Not long after you enter, the monitor flashes with text. Is somebody there? Who are you? Um, we'll reply. You can experience. You approach the microphone. We are explorers. We stumbled upon this room while exploring the quarantine center. Who are you? Oh, thank the wayfather. I finally found somebody. Please, you have to get me out of this place. Uh, who are you? A lovely little island called Paradiso. It's a nice place. We've got everything we need to survive, and everybody's generally pretty happy. Of course, none of the others realize that they're trapped in a simulation. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna read that all. I, I, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just try it, I guess. The moment you enter the password, an alarm starts blaring and the monitor begins flashing a warning message. Unauthorized user detected. Security will be with you shortly. Please present them your credentials. Blast doors hidden in the wall suddenly open up, and out from them steps several armed robots. Uh, we can try to hack them, or we can run away. Let's let's hack them. You quickly poke around the console and manage to initiate a manual override of the robot security protocols. The robots immediately power down. <laughs> you start what? What a long storyline this is. You start navigating through the control console, and eventually stumbling upon, across the experiment's archives. You find a massive amount of automatically collected data, as well as manually written log entries. Most of these entries have been corrupted, but you find a few that are still partially readable. Let's start with one, I guess. Uh, Paradiso's online. I'll do this slow so everybody can read along. Okay. Years since the fall. God Kings the Sixth. <laughs> it's a funny storyline, though. Okay. Um, let's pull this guy. <laughs> Did we gain some experience? Do we get a new crew member now, or what? You've decided you're going to help this garbage. You've got a few options on how to proceed. Use the console to open this pod. Try to open all pods. Try to enter part. Yeah, let's not. Uh, let's do the crew intellect. Manually force. I don't think that's going to be good. Navigating through the console menus, you find a way to safely disengage him from the simulation. As his life support system gradually powers down, the door of his pod automatically pops open. It takes a few frantic breaths, but it soon stabilizes into steady rhythm. 
as he opens his eyes for the first time. You, you tell him, welcome to the real world. A trucker joined. Okay. So his name is Test Subject. That's hilarious. Let's see what his numbers are. Oh, wow. Look at this. That is uh, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, anything really... He has night terrors. Sleeping greatly increases stress. Ooh, I'm not sure how to offset that then. I guess he will be eating good food non-stop. And he's a puddle lover. He loves the rain. Okay. But his numbers are pretty good there. In some areas. Um, he's not really good much of a, of a fighter, but... We can definitely use him. Alright, I see that two people got their skills. Um, we want to do hunting and we don't want to do husbandry. Let's go for husbandry on him. So he can also get a nice little pet. And this one is going to go farming. I'm going to drop him off as fast as possible. What are, does he have another point? Okay. Oh, that, that, that goes nice and fast. Wow. So we're going to go here. Oh, here's the fuel, right? Let's reset. Then there. Let me have a look at this guy. Do we really want to keep this guy around? Crafting 20. Forging. Wow, that's actually pretty good here. Pretty good guy. Huh. Okay, so his name is not that subject. His name is actually Crow, I think. Let's skip a mud. And then we have Bix, the Emperor, and Gizmo, the Prisoner. Glad we clarified that. Uh, what is this guy doing? Is he, is he really tired? Well, that's a shame. You have arrived in Riverside Landfill. This place is filled with unwanted detritus. Infection 30, so this goes really fast. Do we want to do... want to do a search here. Um, that's too long. Okay, scrap. And um, perfect. Let's leave. Oh, so this actually makes him happy now to rain. In three hours, have you? Really? Okay. Well, he's going to be deliriously happy then. <laughs> yeah, his stress is almost zero. You've arrived in Mountain Way, a small town located in a narrow gorge leading from the central plains to the rest of the mountains. We are just uh, want some fuel here, guys. Oh, what is now? From his glassy eyes and unkempt appearance, this old man doesn't look all there. He stares off into the distance, ignoring you. After a minute, he suddenly turns to you. In a voice barely above a whisker, whisper, he asks, Are you guys curious? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, let's see what he wants us to do. Yeah, he gives, I, th I think we ran into him before, didn't we? Well, we'll just... It's a side story. We have three days of drinkable water, so it actually starts flashing here. Oh, I wanted to go to the store. So we want to buy fuel. So I'm kind of looking at this number here to see what kind of really is the, the, the peak profit, quote-unquote. I'm going to go a little bit more, though. There we go. Do they have anything that we can sell? Ammo? Water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have, they, have, they have no water. It's raining like crazy outside. Um, is there anything I can craft here? Yeah, see, I have to learn this one. I, I can't craft it yet. That's the problem. Same goes for this one, the helmet. I believe there was something that catches rainwater. Here. Yeah. I have to learn this one as well. Collecting rainwater provides a small amount of clean water. Hmm. Is 
so we don't have a lot of water left. This produces water, so that should be okay. And where does he want us to go? Where's that at? Oh, oh my god. We're here. And I want us to go there. Well, huh. First we're going to do go to this down here because they have water. So let's go to the landfill. Because we have previously visited it, so the salvage level I think goes down. So you find last if you would do a search. We don't have to do a search, by the way. So we need 245, 239. Okay, let's go. Let's uh, get some good rest. And let's not forget, they produce... Well, what do they need? Thread, honey, milk and cloth. They don't have any of that. Okay, we'll just depart. We have an event again. All these taxes are getting more and more as, as you have more people in your cabin. You spawn an infected watching you from a distance. He seems so su surprisingly coherent and non-hostile. Hey, not why you want some food or clothing. We don't have any of that. Um, now nah, we're gonna keep on trucking. The engine is slightly overheating though, we have to keep an eye on that one. Ooh. Let's do a little bit then, before we're completely out of water. There's a rain again. You have arrived in Clunkertown. This gas station is said to have a large supply of scrapped truck parts and stock. Store. Well, we want water. Let's buy 54. They also have tires. We still have 20. Uh, food, well, we should be okay with food. I mean, seriously. Rations. My, if they have some rations. Let me double check on that. Got some rations. No, water or scraps. I mean, you can use this all for cooking. I just don't know if it's really worth spending money on to cook this. I would probably give it a try if we had some salt. But I, I don't have any salt in So I don't think I do. So we have some wastewater, but I... Can I clean this? I need something else to clean this. Oh, he actually leveled. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, of course. Um, what do we want to do with this guy? Well, let's give him some speech, or at least he can talk. It's nice to have somebody sitting in a cabin you can have a conversation with, of course. There's a repair shop. Is there anything that we need to do? Should be able to find a buyer. Recycle three tires. Recycle 300 fuel. What, what does that mean? Am I going to give that to them? Recycle one. Let's do three tires. Oh. Oh. That was stupid. Well. If I buy three. It costs me 92. Okay, so now we have 20 times again. Can I recycle again and get some money this way? Nah. Okay, let's refresh. Perfect condition. Um, there's no bar here, by the way. So I wonder what this is green. 
Let me check on my task here. We have the quest here. There's actually a little village here, so... They, they have food, but where, how do you get there? Can I get... Oh my god. The... So it is possible. Yeah, let me uh, fix this real quick. Fuel. Well, we have fuel now, but... Huh. I just... It's just so far away from civilization, this. I'd rather drop that guy off. We have a quest here. Yeah, we're gonna go here then. Uh, rations, wood, salt pork, and dry chicken. No, okay. We're gonna go there. 17 days of drinkable water. We have ammo, we have food for 11 days. A pickup camp. We spot a few survivors camped out by their pickup truck. They seem to be resting. Let's do some recon. You can only rob them, I mean, seriously. Trade? You need crew virtue of 12. So with four people, we don't even have 12. Because virtue, if I'm not mistaken, is... Uh, let me check my little notebook here. I thought it was the... Let me leave. Let's double check here. Average. And it's probably not that nasty prisoner that's taking this down, isn't he? Nine. Hmm, that's not really low. 12? Okay. Well, let's keep going. No. He's dislike. Oh my god, he's now disliking the test sub subject? Oh boy. Let's watch the sunrise. Maybe everybody will calm down. I would like to level with him so you can actually get the farm level 15. And then we can drop him off in our town, so he can uh, get some water for the rest of his life. Wow. He doesn't like those. Okay, we have skill points. Speech, crafting. We don't need farming, we don't really need... Well, I don't know what the cooking does for your grid. Husbandry, fishing, foraging, hunting. I don't know what cooking does. Okay, what? It says. Oh, well, we have an event. You arrive at an abandoned bridge covered in the sea, blah blah blah. Making you. Well, we take a detour. Keeps talking about this cooking. What does this do? Cooking quality. So I guess if you have to look into that. So maybe the food that you cook doesn't have all only standard stats. It depends also on your cooking skill that actually might give you more um, stats and also stress reduction, maybe. Okay, so we're here. Now they produce wheat, sugar cane, and tires, and we're gonna go here. They need. Nothing. We Do we need tires? No, we don't. Does anybody s produce salt? We need salt for cooking. And there's also no library. Is, is there a library? Yeah, there's a library. Yeah, okay. Could use a little bit of rest. Yeah. Let's do that. Don't need any of this. Do we have anything on us that they... Would like to buy? No. We don't need the VIP. There we go. Map. Let's keep an eye on these numbers, but now we're gonna get the, a couple of scrap because we have this delivery mission there. This keeps overheating. We really need to do...
All right. You have these, uh, the scrolling text the whole time. I don't even read it anymore. Um, I, I'm not going to take anybody on board because I also have no room, I don't think. So let's move on. <laughs> I'm not going to stop for a, a hitchhiker. Not in these days. Virtue. Well done. We have been here before. Uh, what do we want to do with you? Because he likes prisoner, but he does not like musket. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's not focus on these skills right now. He's, of course, extremely smart. That's the reason why he doesn't like me. Makes kind of perfect sense to me. Let's do speech. What does speech really do? Hagening or interacting with others at the bar. Does it do anything for the conversations within the cabin? I mean, seriously. No. Yeah, you got a point. Let's get farming up. Ah, nice. That makes another 15. Alright, so we can drop him off down in our town. That's perfect. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave it here. We're in a major town, and there's a library, so hopefully we can do some research in the next episode and get our gear, or get our crew a little bit better gear and uh, also some upgrades for the truck. That would be very helpful. Then the plan is also to drop off the prisoner. <laughs> it sounds really bad, but to drop off the prisoner at our town so he can do manual labor. Right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.